So we need to work out 186 times 94. But before we do that, let's estimate our answer. How can we do that? Well, if we round 186 to the nearest 100, we get 200. And then if we round 94 to the nearest 10, we get 90. So what is 200 times 90? It's 18,000, because 2 times 9 is 18. And then, because we have a total of 3 end zeros in the question, 2 here and 1 here, we need 3 end zeros in our answer. So now, we can work out 186 times 94, and we know that our answer should be something close to 18,000. So 6 times 4 is 24. 8 times 4 is 32. Plus 2 is 34. And 1 times 4 is 4. Plus 3 is 7. Now we can cross out our working and write a 0 in our units column. 6 times 9 is 54. 8 times 9 is 72, plus 5 is 77, and 1 times 9 is 9, plus 7 is 16. Now we can add up our totals. So 4 plus 0 is 4, 4 plus 4 is 8, 7 plus 7 is 14, 1 plus 6 is 7, and nothing plus 1 is 1. So our answer is 17,484, and that's close to our estimation. So we can be fairly sure that we've got the right answer. It's useful to estimate first, because imagine if we had forgotten that we need this zero in the units, we would be adding 744 and 1,674. So when we got our answer, we would realise that it wasn't close to 18,000, so we would know we had made a mistake. Now, again, let's round first to estimate. What is 641 rounded to the nearest 100? That's 600. And what is 63 rounded to the nearest 10? That's 60. So what is 600 times 60? We have 36,000, because 6 times 6 is 36, and we know that if we have a total of 3 end zeros in our question, we need 3 end zeros in our answer. But is 36,000 an underestimation or an overestimation? Do you think our actual answer will be larger than 36,000 or smaller than 36,000. Well, to get 600 times 60, we rounded both numbers down, so that means our actual answer will be larger than 36,000. So now let's work out our answer. 1 times 3 is 3, 4 times 3 is 12, and 6 times 3 is 18, plus 1 is 19. Now we cross out our working, write a 0 in our units column, and now 1 times 6 is 6, 4 times 6 is 24, and 6 times 6 is 36, plus 2 is 38. Now, adding up our answers, 3 plus 0 is 3, 2 plus 6 is 8, 9 plus 4 is 13, 1 plus 1 plus 8 is 10, and 1 plus 3 is 4. So our answer is 40,383. So that's close to our estimation, and like we expected, it's a larger number than our estimate. Because to estimate for this question, we rounded both numbers down. 
So pause the video and write your estimates to 755 times 45 and see if you can explain whether you expect the actual answer to be larger or smaller than your estimates. Well, 755 rounded to the nearest 100 is 800 and 45 rounded to the nearest 10 is 50. Now, if we work out 800 times 50, we get 40,000. That's because 8 times 5 is 40, and it's important to understand that this zero here isn't an end zero, it's just what we get by multiplying 8 by 5. But after we've written 40, we need to count our end zeros, and because there are three end zeros in the question, we need three end zeros in our answer. So we can expect our answer to 755 times 45 to be close to 40,000. But in fact, we can expect our answer to be slightly less than 40,000 because we rounded both numbers up. So now let's find our answer. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 2 is 27, and 7 times 5 is 35, plus 2 is 37. Now we can cross out our working and write a zero in our units. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 2 is 22. And 7 times 4 is 28, plus 2 is 30. Now, if we add up our totals, we can see that our final answer is actually quite a lot less than 40,000. But it's still the correct answer, because remember, to get our rounded answer, we had to round both numbers up. So 800 is 45 more than 755, and 50 is 5 more than 45, so we would expect our rounded estimate to be an overestimate. Now, pause the video, write your estimate to 499 times 42, and then work out the answer. So, if we round 499 to the nearest 100, we have 500, and 42 rounded to the nearest 10 is 40. So we can estimate that our answer will be close to 20,000, because 5 times 4 is 20, and if we have 3 end zeros in our question, we need 3 end zeros in our answer. So, 499 times 42 should be close to 20,000. But it's not clear whether 20,000 is an underestimate or an overestimate, because here we rounded 499 up, but we rounded 42 down. But we can expect our actual answer to be much closer to our estimate than it was in the last question, because here, 500 is only one more than 499, and 40 is only two less than 42. So for this question, we can expect our answer to be very close to 20,000. So let's work it out. 9 times 2 is 18. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 1 is 19 and 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. Now, we cross out our working, write our 0, and 9 times 4 is 36. 9 times 4 is 36, plus 3 is 39, and 4 times 4 is 16, plus 3 is 19. So if we add up our totals, 8 plus 0 is 8, 9 plus 6 is 15, 1 plus 9 plus 9 is 19, 1 plus 9 is 10, and 1 plus 1 is 2. So our answer to the question 
is 20,958.